In this video, we will try to solve a problem that was asked by a brother Modo Baberto on Telegram channel of EconMaths. The question is like this. Suppose supply and demand functions are respectively being given as this is supply function that is QS is equal to P minus 6 and this is our demand function P plus 4Q plus 75 where P is the price and Q is the quantity. Now government decides to impose a tax T per unit. Assuming that equilibrium conditions prevail in the market, find the value of tax T which maximizes the government's total revenue. Okay, so what is the question? This is our demand function. Let's write it first. We have P plus 4Q is equal to 75. This is our demand function. And solving for P, this will become P is equal to 75 minus 4Q. Okay, very simple. This is our demand function. This is our supply function. What is our supply function given as Q is equal to P minus 6. Let us solve this also for P. If we transpose this 6, so our P comes out to be 6 plus Q. Okay, simple mathematics. So this is our demand function. This is our supply function. Okay. Now government tries to impose a tax T. Okay, if this is our supply function, let's draw the graph also. I'm not sure whether it is uh, plausible to draw the graph here. So let me try to draw here the graph. This is quantity. This is price. This is our demand function with intercept to 75. So this looks like this. This is our demand function. Uh, this is our supply function so we have this like this okay this is supply function okay initially we are at this point now the government tries to impose a tax t per unit of output when per unit tax is imposed supply shifts supply curve shifts upwards okay so after tax let me write it here after tax is imposed let us say this is t what will be our supply function supply function will look like this uh, p is equal to 6 plus q the original supply plus the tax rate okay okay this is our new supply function okay this is our new supply function new supply function at the the intersection of these two was the old equilibrium so this is our old supply function okay sorry now at equilibrium since we are being told that equilibrium conditions prevail so at equilibrium at equilibrium at equilibrium we need to equate our demand and supply functions okay our demand should be equal to the supply function let's denote it by s subscript and that means new supply function so we equate this demand function with new supply function okay so let's draw it here so this will look like this this is our new supply function so let me write it at superscript n okay so after the imposition of per unit x this has shifted okay now we need to find uh, we need to solve for the equilibrium that means we need to equate this function and this function okay so which implies let me write it here so this is p is equal to 75 minus 4q p is equal to 6 plus uh, 6 plus q plus t okay since p and p are can, uh, same we can since lhs is same we can equate rhs that means 75 minus 4q should be equal to this new supply function 6 plus q plus t okay let's uh, let's solve this for p Sorry for Q. So, let's uh, transpose this here. So, minus 4Q transposing this will become 5Q. Okay. So, uh, minus 4Q when transposing it becomes 4Q plus Q. This is 5Q. 5Q is equal to. Now, we have 75 minus 6. 75 minus 6 minus T. Okay. So 5Q is equal to, this comes out to be 69 minus T or Q is equal to 69, transposing this 5 will get uh, divided to each of these terms, okay. 
और Q is equal to 69 upon 5 comes out to be 5 1s are 5 okay 5 1s are 5 we, this becomes 5 3s are 15 so this becomes 13.8 minus T upon 5 okay this is the quantity transacted so originally we were at this point after the per unit tax was imposed the quantity transacted in the market will be equal to this 13.8 minus t upon 5 okay so this is the point here <coughs> so now what is tax revenue Go government's total revenue or tax revenue is simply equal to quantity transacted in the market that means q this let us denote it by q star okay into the tax rate okay so q is this very term 13.8 minus t upon 5 to this we multiply t okay so this comes out to be 13.8 t minus t into t is t square upon 5 okay this is the let me write it government revenue here okay this looks like total revenue so let me write it government revenue government revenue so this is the government revenue that that is getting accumulated when a per unit tax is imposed okay now we need to find the value of tax rate which maximizes this government's total revenue okay now for that let me rub this out or let me rub this thing out okay I hope you, uh, you get what I am trying to uh, uh, teach you. So this is our government revenue. So now when will be the government revenue maximum? So government revenue is maximum when, when marginal government revenue is equal to zero. Simply as we have seen in so many videos when our total total revenue is maximum when marginal revenue is equal to zero similarly uh, as we have seen in earlier video also or in, num in uh, number of videos also if we want to find the total utility is maximum when our marginal utility is equal to zero same application so government revenue is equal to government revenue will be maximum when the marginal government revenue is equal to zero okay what is marginal government revenue marginal government revenue is simply the derivative of government revenue with respect to tax and we set it equal to zero so differentiating this function with respect to tax okay so derivative of t is one we are left with 13.8 minus derivative of t square is 2t so this is 2t upon 5 is equal to 0 or we can write 2t upon 5 is equal to 13.8 or t is equal to 13.8 into if we transpose these terms it they will get multiplied and reciprocated so this becomes 5 upon 2 solving this this is 5 8 are 40, 5 3 are 15, uh, 5 are 40, 5 3 are 15, this becomes 9, 5 1 are 5, this becomes 69 upon 2, so this comes out to be 2 3 are 6, 2 4 are 8 point. Okay, thirty-two point. Go up. You better the thirty-four point five. Okay, simple. So this is the tax rate. This is the tax rate which government must impose so that the government gets maximum possible government revenue. Okay, so this is. Um, we can also say to check whether this is the maximum point, we need to take second derivative. Okay. 
so let us say this point tells us this is the slope where the slope of the tax revenue uh, this is tax revenue where the slope is zero okay uh, and to check uh, this is the maximum point we need to take the secondary value okay so that means we need to take the second derivative so this was the first derivative taking second derivative that means uh, d square government revenue uh, this is optional one uh, to check this condition here okay so d t square so what is the derivative of t here one so we are left with uh, we are left with minus two upon five okay which is obviously less than zero okay for maximum we need two conditions let me repeat first slope should be equal to zero okay slope is equal to zero second is uh, after attaining maximum slope should be decreasing okay slope should be decreasing okay slope is equal to zero that means finding the marginal uh, taking marginal uh, uh, what we say uh, at this point slope is zero that means taking derivative of government revenue function and setting it equal to zero okay so this gives us uh, the zero slope and this second uh, condition is checked when we take the second derivative of total government function total government revenue with respect to t and if it comes out to be less than zero we say this is our maximum point in this case uh, the answer should be 34.5 i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you